Hello, what is software architecture? And is software architecture different from software design? To answer this question, we need to know that um, software architecture is actually in the border between the requirement space and the solution space. So the problem space and the solution space. So when you do software requirements, software architecture, what you are doing is looking at the requirement of the system and designing the system or identifying what you need to design in the system such that the requirements are fulfilled. And the point is which requirements are going to be fulfilled. And usually what you address here is a set of non-functional requirements like performance, security, usability. And you want, you want to decide how your system are going to provide this type of qualities. To do it, you need to do requirements engineering in terms of non-functional requirements. And you need to talk with the stakeholders of the system. So the stakeholders of the system are going to tell you what are the relevant non-functional requirements. And those relevant non-functional requirements actually can be in a contradiction, can ba basically de 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 define different things. So actually, you need to decide which ones are more relevant. For instance, if you decide for usability or um, security, usually if the system is available in a lot of uh, interfaces, in a lot of devices, probably it's easier to attack the system. So it's a trade-off. And the, the architecture contains the, 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 that trade-off. So the question about what is the difference between software architecture and software design, the answer is software architecture is the design that deals with the requirements defined by the stakeholders. So it's the design that if you want to prove that the system satisfies the requirements defined by the most important stakeholders, then you should show them the software architecture design. Okay? Who are the stakeholders that are involved in the um, software uh, software design uh, software in, in, in the software architecture? Basically, are all the people that have some type of interest in the system, even the development team, because if you do not consider the development team when doing the software architecture of a system, maybe you're never going to consider properties as uh, easy to modifiability or maintainability in the sense that basically, well, the end user does not care about that qualities, okay? So at the end, you may have a system that is gonna be very hard to, to maintain, okay? So we are going to consider, for instance, the end user, and the end user maybe is, real, is interested in the performance of the system. We are going to, 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 to consider the client of the system, which uh, probably is, is uh, interested in the security of the data, the end user probably as well, or even the, the business people that are interested in, in the time of the market so that the architecture maybe uh, enables the system to be delivered in, the, in due time, okay, and, and, and the team. So basic software architecture is in this space where you basically trade and discuss what is relevant to be implemented in the system. And the software architecture actually defines the most important trade-offs of the system, okay, and the qualities of the system. So when I told you, for instance, that um, performance is a, a global property of the system, is during the, when you do the software architecture that you decide what is the level of performance for which type of uh, uh, services that the system should provide. So, you need to decide. So, you have uh, different, different stakeholders with different requirements and you need to prioritize the, the, the requirements and decide which ones are more relevant and should be supported by the system, okay? So basically then, so this is the design, the, the architectural decisions you need, you, you need to make, okay? And uh, 
by doing these uh, architectural decisions, you define what is going to be hard to change in, in, in the future. So another interesting uh, aspect of architectural software architecture is that the software architecture are the decisions that are to change in the future. Why? Because basically in the future, then you, you are going to structure your system around that decisions and change them is going to be quite difficult because they, they are actually the backbone of the design of the system. A final aspect in this um, discussion or in this introduction to software architecture is in terms of uh, how are we, going, are we going to describe the software architecture or are we going to, dis to, 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 to present it. And the idea, there are several modules, but actually is you should present according to different perspectives. One of the most famous module is uh, one called f 4 plus 1 view of a model of software architecture by Philip Crutchen. And they have this picture that people uh, repeat a lot and where you see that basically you have different perspectives of the system. So if you think about it, you have a logical view where you look at the system from, from the point of view of the functionality. So, and basically is the stakeholders that are really interested. And here, here probably you show the system and you show which, which type of functionality the system provides. Okay, then you have the process view, okay, where you, you look at the system from the point of view of the execution of the system, where you describe it in terms of its performance, its scalability. Here, for instance, we discuss, while there we can discuss about which modules, which functionality each one of the modules implements. Here we talk about which processes there exist. If you are going to have replication of processes such that we can improve performance or take advantage of parallelization of the code, okay? And then you have the development view where you're going to describe where the, the, principal, the, the, the main stakeholders are the developers, the programmers. And here you are concerned about the quality in terms of modifiability. So we are concerned about uh, low coupling, high cohesion of the software. So we are talking about the same system, okay, but from different perspectives. The functionality, the execution, and the, the, the structure of the code, okay, the quality of the code. And another view is the, the, the physical view that our days become less relevant, but is the, how, the, how the system is going to be deployed. This becomes less relevant because if you think, I, told, I, I said that... Um, Software architecture is what is hard to change. And 20 years ago, this was really hard to change. But yes, because basically you buy the servers and you, okay, and then it's difficult just to, to change it because you have already spent the money with the servers and all these infrastructure. But now most of the systems are deployed on, uh, on the cloud. So in that case, this view becomes less relevant today, okay? Not for all types of systems, but some of the systems, it's, it, it, that's what happens. So, but anyway, you have four views and you can look at the system according to different views. Okay, that's the main uh, idea here. Okay, hope you enjoy it.